Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Fourth one tonight. I'm on I'm on it, I'm on it tonight, I'm on the ball. And I'm just about to go in the octub, so on my own. I'm gonna test my octub out. So let's pour this little baby out first. And uh, oh yeah. Oh. Frexinet Rose, by the way. I forgot that. Reminds me of that episode of Benny Dorm where the um, the swingers and the gay couple were celebrating something and um, yeah and he says I've got champagne oh champagne yes yes and they're all there with the glasses and then he gets a little bottle like that and uh, yeah really funny oh, lovely smell to it anyway. So lovely rosé colour there, sparkling rosé, as you notice when I open the fucking bottle. Ooh. So it says here, presented in a, in a striking cut glass bottle, for excellent Italian rosé. Is this the Italian rosé? No, it's the carver. So let me go back. Um... Carver in because obviously, if you know anything about wines, Carver is a sparkling wine from Spain. There we go, that's the one. Whereas, obviously, Prosecco is from Italy, Champagne is from France, sparkling wines from everywhere else that hasn't got a brand name on it. Yeah, so wine of Spain. Cordon Rosada is a vibrant pink partner of Fretzenek's famous Cordon Negro, made using the same traditional techniques as Champagne. Two charming Spanish red grape varieties, Tripat and Garnacha, give Cordon Rosada its subtle hue. Cordon Rosada delivers a fruity glass of Seco Rosé, meaning that it is slightly sweeter than the traditional Brut Carver. It says Grand Selection, so am I reading the wrong bloody thing? Let me try and do it again. Let's try again. Grand Selection. Why well, bring out so many different bloody ro uh, thingies? Right, there we go. So, we'll try again. Oh, that no. It's got a subtle nose on it, with fruity nose, and a nice, nice taste to it. And the rest of it, I don't really care for. Yeah, so it is actually the same as what I've just said. Yeah, it's just that they call it something different. Um, appealing colour, delightful long finish. Expect a pop of summer fruits in every sip and indulge in the bubbles of juicy blackberries and mouth-watering strawberries. It's got some poke to it, I can really feel that. Um, can't see the strength. Twelve percent. So yeah, decent strength. Yeah, so tonight I'm, uh, I'm um, experimenting in the octub. Uh, nothing dirty, it's just the fact I'm going in and uh, seeing how it goes. So, obviously we've had leaks, uh, if anybody's been watching, and I fixed the leak on the back, and the, f and the leak on the front I super glued, but I think I super glued something wrong. And uh, so what's happened is, when you put the air bubbles on, it starts to blow up. And uh, there is um, possibly a chance that it might burst. So I'm going to put the bubbles on for half an hour and test the, um, Test the water, is it, Bob? So definitely getting strawberries and, and raspberries. I've got to say, lovely. 
bobbly um, sparkly wine. Now I'm not mad keen on champagnes to be honest because I find them too dry and this is the thing with a lot of these dry wines a lot of these sparkly wines they are on the scale of 1 to 10 they're mostly 1's which is very dry uh, according to Sainsbury's scales anyway, which I think are probably the best scales out there and uh, even though I don't like the manager at the Arnold shop because um, he's a twonk uh, but I do you know I do like um, the more sweeter ones. So for me, a demi sec or a slightly sweeter sparkling wine. Demi secs are in, in the two to three. Uh, so they're not dry, but they're not exactly sweet either. But they're much nicer, and than standard dry champagnes. And some champ some champagnes are nasty. We had one for my wife's birthday, and. Uh, that nice at all and I bought her this big magnum of it and it was an eventful night to be fair because I bought this magnum of champagne and uh, yeah we all tank it we like, oh fucking that's disgusting so we got some chambord mixed it with chambord we'd already had that in a Brazilian uh, pub once and uh, mixed it with the chambord and I tell you what chambord and any uh, sparkly white wine it's absolutely amazing together. I mean, it's nice with just lemonade, but it's brilliant with sparkly wine. So there's something to think about. If you're not really, if you like your sparkly stuff, but you're not really keen on the taste, dob some Chambord in. Jobs are good in. Um, yeah, I mean, in the, and I think in the taxi into town, our friend's uh, girlfriend at the time, although he's not, she's not now because she went off with a lesbo. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, and on the way into town, she was pissed out of her head off that one glass. It really fucking got her. And it's funny because we went there. Then we went to the uh, next Nottingham Castle. There's a, um, a really famous restaurant called Fothergill's. Had a fantastic meal in there. Went down the tree. Six of us were there. And um, went out drinking that night. And then all of a sudden, I got a nice pint of beer and Moretti. And then I looked at one of my mates and uh, the one who was girlfriend Mount Lasbo and um, all of a sudden he's living up to his name he's gone grey and I'm looking at him thinking fuck you now so are you and then he went outside <laughs> and uh, then the band says, says oh you fat cunt tell your fucking mate not to be sick anywhere near us and we've got a mate who's a big fucker and uh, it all wiped him out and uh, we managed to get the situation de-escalated and we went to another pub and then our mate was still not very happy because he got called a fat cunt. Um, uh, <laughs> they wouldn't let him in at first, but we talked to him. We talked to him down. You know, they were sound with us. So you know, playing the peace card, and uh, even when I'm drunk, I can play the peace card quite well. And uh, I mean, I've been in another uh, another nightclub, uh, dancing away, and all of a sudden one of these lads with uh, I don't really know the bloke or even like the bloke. And then he fucking pushed some lad in the floor, for fuck's sake, what are you doing? And all of a sudden this gang of lads, and I said, lads, 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 leave it, it's not worth it, it's a wanker, leave him alone. And I managed to defuse the situation. And it's funny, because one of the lads who was with us, one of the blokes, he did a run, as soon as that happened, he'd, he'd gone. And uh, me and, and Gray, I mean, this is another night out, and we defused the situation, and you know, Shook our hands at the end, says your mates twice, says yeah, <laughs> it is. And uh, it's funny, uh, you know, over drink, how silly things can happen. And there's no need for it, you know. Oh, so it's going down rather slowly. Uh, don't want to get too drunk before I go in, in case I can't be out quick enough. That should be. And the night's pulling in. It is on my watch. 9.35. And uh, it's already dark. So, end of July. You know, the winter months are upon us soon. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, I'll have a new job. And uh, yeah. 
um, new bosses, good bosses. And that, that's all you want in any job, you know. Pull your, do you do your work, not suffer hassle, and uh, get people to you know get the praise you deserve and the thanks you deserve instead of being just some someone's menial worker. And uh, if I get the job, I may even do some, uh, the odd beer review from outside in the garden. And uh, do a beer review of the place where I'm at. You never know. Oh. So, yeah, interesting times ahead. It gives my brain some uh, positive to think about instead of negative. So that might help my uh, anxiety. You never know. You never know in life. Oh. <sighs> I actually had a good sleep this morning, actually. Uh, what time did I wake up? 20 past 6. I actually slept through the night. And the little lad stayed in his own bed, so I was good. I could need it. You know, it's no good having to take tablets or drink to help you stay asleep, you know, fall asleep and stay asleep. Because at the end of the day, you know, mental health, you have, to, you have to protect yourself from that. But we've all got our coping mechanisms, and whether you smoke, whether you do drugs, as long as you're not nasty to anybody afterwards, not violent to women or whatever, or blokes, then, you know, whatever you do in life to, to keep yourself um, on the right tra tracks, you know, I can't fault anybody. I drink probably too much. Yeah, I would say I do. Uh, by re reviewing beer alone, I drink too much. Um, but it's my coping mechanism, especially for these last four or five months. And uh, we must all do what we can to survive. And as long as we're good with family and friends and... Uh, and a nice person, you know, there's no issues, is there? You know, the worst people in this world are the ones who think they're right all the time, and they're not. But if you can't tell yourself that you're wrong, then you're not going to believe it from anybody else. You think you're always right, and uh, even when invariably you're wrong. A lot of people are about like that. A lot of people can't help themselves and never change. Me, I changed 10 years ago and I changed for a better person. Uh, left a horrible job at the time. Learned a lot in retail, which has uh, brought me into the beers, you know, beer reviews, because I learned a lot doing retail. And I'm always thankful for that. It, you know, it was a good stage in my life. Some good friends, good friends are still there for us today. And even though I left those friends five years ago and ventured on to jo new jobs, and they're still there, they're still at the same place. Uh, the vast majority of them, and they're all great people, and you, you see them, and uh, you know, one stage we'll go out drinking, and uh, we'll have a, a good laugh together, and uh, put the world to rights, as you should do when you go out drinking, you know, it should be about meeting up, um, and uh, a good friendly bit of banter, a bit of wind up, telling stories, a bit like I do now, to be honest, you know, because... Obviously I worked on a public park and you see a lot of stuff. And obviously my normal, shall we say, real personality is a much more funny personality than the rather sad, uh, rather stressed, quite ill person that you've seen uh, probably the last two months. So, you know, um, and hopefully that will return. Can't live life feeling ill, feeling you know, that ill that you know you think dark thoughts that you're going to do to yourself. You know that's not a good sign. And uh, you know anybody who does out there, seek help. Um, even though I've, I've fought some bad thoughts, I would never do it to myself because I've got a great family, and I would never want to put them through that pain because it is unbearable pain. But, you know, I can understand where, why people do sometimes what they do. And like I say, you know, if you, if you are in a downward, a bad situation, seek some help, you know. Get on the phone to solve it. Um, oh, God, I can't 
up and do it, isn't it? It's just gone out of my head. It was in my head and it's gone. But anyway, yeah, there's lots of people out there you can get help from. Doctors, you know, lots of help organisations, and it's totally gone out of my bloody head. And uh, never be so bad that, you know, never worry too so much that you're pushing yourself over the limit. You know, your loved ones, family, loved ones, children, need their parents or family there. Always, always, always a very, you know, uh, very strong thing to think about. You know, people can change. We can all change. You know, and be a better person. Oh, back to this wine. I'm oh, actually sweating my bejesus off in here. Or my balls, if you really want to know. But yeah. actually, it's my head that's sweating. Fucking hell. Yeah. Oh, that hot tub's not hot, because it's too hot, because I'll be sweating in there, you know? Until it goes pop. If it goes pop, I'll show you the aftermath on another beer review. Beer review. Because uh, if it does pop, we're going to be crying. But hey, oh, 400 quid. We've had two and a half years out of it, so it's not been too bad. You know, I don't think it uh, uh, owes us anything, even though, you know, you, you do think bloody thing. So, absolutely lovely, lovely taste of summer. Um, nice strength, subtle nose, got to be honest. But yeah, nice. And hopefully, because it's a sparkly wine, hopefully I will have something to celebrate come Tuesday night. Um, and hopefully it's the last week that I'm working on Nottingham Park Estate. Um, you never know. Um, I'm ready for the future now. I'm ready to embrace whatever comes next. And uh, be, be it either a project or actually going back to my old job. You know, and going back to my friends. Um, I embrace both of them really and uh, ready to get some bloody good hard work out there. So, out of five, mm. for me, nice tasting sparkly wine, uh, a little bit fizzy at the start, gotta be honest, take that yellow, that, take the wrapper off first, don't try and undo the thing with the wrapper on, bloody thing, but yeah, lovely throughout. Nice, sweeter, sparkly wine. So definitely, if you don't like your dry wines because you think they taste like vinegar, you'll love this. Um, it might still taste like vinegar to you, but it won't taste as bad. Um, if you're a first timer, if you're a virgin, uh, wine taster. But then some people can drink wine straight away, and it never bothers them. It's just how it is. Um, yeah. So out of five, four point four out of five went down. Lovely. And now to brave the hot tub. Oh my gosh. Looking forward to this in some ways. Just have half an hour's chill. The hot tub on, lights on, because I'm not sitting there in the dark. It's got a dark, it's dark outside. And uh, I get scared. Uh, no, no, I don't really. But... And you have rats under your ass. And I, I, how much they got into my brain. A lot has penetrated the brain in the last year and weakened me. There's going to be a day soon when the old raggy comes out that takes no shit and truly gives it back 100%. And I can't wait for him to come back out of the shadows because he's been lurking in the background somewhere. And uh, I've been far too weak in myself for far too long and uh, the old me would have destroyed certain characters that I've, I've ventured across in the last year or so but hey oh you know we all come across times in our life when we are weak and devastatingly and like I said earlier you know um, getting out of that getting back to your normal self is, is a good thing getting that job that just makes life happy you know, you see a lot of people get out of the rat race and, you know, going commuting all the time to London and whatnot. 
I mean, it's all right, but you're missing out on your family. You know, family is everything. But some people like that world, some people don't. You know, I don't. Yeah. Driving over to Newark could be just about as much as I can take. But when it's only two days or three days a week, it's not a bad thing. And I think it'll end up being two days a week, especially when the project takes over. And it's not just maintenance, it's more project work. And I'll take photographs and videos of this project. And I might set up a different channel for that. Just to, if I get it, obviously get the job first. You know, speaking ahead of myself, but it'd be interesting. And, uh, you know, show the world of gardening. Yes. Right, that's it for this beer review. Uh, wine review, rather. Uh, hot tub time. See you later. Cheers.